Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and I want to thank everyone so much. Um, I'm only doing these tutorials for four months, and I'm only using Affinity Photo for maybe five to six months, and I've hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all for your support. I've seen all your comments. I've wrote back to many of you, and I'm so happy that you enjoy my tutorials. Today's tutorial shows you some strange ways you can use layer effects. I think you'll find it interesting, so let's get started. So here I have a blank canvas. I just did a web canvas. You can do any size. And I went to the stock photos, and in Pixel Bay, I chose out of space as a search. So I'm just dragging that here. And I'll make my screen smaller, just get it to fit a little better. Nothing doesn't have to be perfect. It's just used for backgrounds. Double click on the hand to bring us back to the front. Next, I'll type in 1000 since I hit 1000 subscribers. And let's make that an aerial black because I wanted something big. There we go. And I don't know if I have snapping set on. I do. The first thing I'm going to do is give this an outline but I'm going to make sure not to give it in the layers panel as an outline first I'm going to do it where the character panel is so if you go to the character panel make sure you switch it if you don't see it go to view studio characters right there and then under decorations in the character panel right here it's showing that there is no outline so you want to add an outline. First, you want to add a color, and I'm going to give it this pinkish color. And you could decide how big you want it to be. I'll go around maybe that much. And that looks pretty good. Next thing I'm going to do is go to the brushes category. And Affinity Photo 1.7 has um, given away free Ink Street art brushes. So I'm using that. and. It doesn't matter what brush you use, but I wanted something with some texture. I don't know what color. Maybe I'll use white. I forgot what I did last time, to be honest with you. Well, you know what? Just let's make sure we could see. Let's give it a blue. And I'm just going to pick one of these and go to the brush tool and start brushing here. I could do any kind of texture. In fact, I can even pick... Um, I don't know if I want to mess it up, but I could pick something very soft or something very crazy like this and add some more, just like that. All right. And now I will take that pixel layer, which is the brush strokes, and drag it down and to the right so that it is snapped inside the text, which is the 1000 right here. So the text is masking it out. You only see it inside. Here is something interesting. I changed the mode to erase. And what it does in erase is you see through whatever is underneath, which is great. So now you're seeing the outer space, and that's nice effect. If you go to the text layer and you go to effects and you give it, say, an outline, and I give it an outline maybe close to the same color and we'll bring it way out it changes the effect of the paintbrush because the outline gives the color on the inside you can no longer see through it so when you do an outline it seems that it's it's filling the whole thing behind it so that's how you get a double outline and double outlines are pretty cool for example I can go back to the character tool and instead of this pink I can make it white which is kind of a nice effect too it's like a double line but if we go back here and we go into effects there are other combinations that can happen for example uh, if I do 3d or bevel and emboss let's do the 3d first let's try 3d and we give it a nice radius the actual holes are starting to do 3D. And I don't know why, because I guess because it's on a race, 
even though the paint strokes are on top of it, that's the way it comes out. Um, if I want to do inner glow, I can do an inner glow. Uh, let's give it, I can give it some other colors. I can give it a blue effect or a green effect. It has different effects depending on what you're doing. So now I'm mixing colors inside, which I think is very interesting. And then I could do a bevel and emboss. And let's say emboss here. And they all have different effects. So here we've taken very different, I'm getting rid of that, but here we're taking, and, and let's do an outer glow. Let's say we wanted that same color outer glow because we have double outline, we need to go bigger. But there's your outer glow. I can get rid of the inner glow if I want and see the different effects. Get rid of the outline if I want. 3D can be cut down. So I can also now, if I don't like that pattern, I can add another layer, right? Pick um, a different brush. Let's take one of the normal brushes. Let's see, uh, spray paint maybe. Let's try something like this. Let's hide this one. And I don't know if it matters what color. So let's change the color just to see whether it matters or not. Again, I experiment at the same time same way you do and I'm just gonna spray over this whole thing All right and also I could set that to erase and it has the same color effects to it and if you, if you don't like erase look at all the different blends I'm just going up the line just to see what the different effects but the reason I like erase is because now I can change, again, any color I want. For example, the outline color, if I change that to blue, it changes the whole effect. If I change that to green, it changes the effect. But it only changes the effect on the background. It doesn't change the color of the text, which stayed black. So the best part about this is you can save this any way you want. And then the next time you open it, you can basically use this text. You don't need the background. You could use this text as a template because now if you touch the text and I say a thousand, instead I want to say subscribers, which is way off the chart here. So I'm going to bring this back. you still have the same effect, except now the problem here is you just have to stretch that out to go behind wherever you want it to do, or you add to it. So you can add any type of texture to, it's, it's pretty good, you can add any type of texture and change the colors actually by changing the outline, which is amazing to me. Like I go to the, where are we, the outline again is blue, I could change that to that. I could change that to a yellow. I could change it to a green. So this is a great effect. And I can, I just discovered it, like I said, so I haven't had a chance to practice with it. Oh, one more thing. You notice how the outline here is very big. I meant to, I forgot to, t to put this, should always check scale with object. And I did not scale it with the object. If I did, it would have gone, as I shrunk the text, it would have gone down too. So I'm just going to have to do it manually, but you should always uh, fix that. Make sure scale and object is checked and you'll be fine. So I found this really interesting and I hope you did too. And thank you again so much uh, for allowing me to hit 1,000 subscribers and for all your support. Uh, thank you and have a good day.